<clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get started today, and I want to I want to give you guys particularly a lot of kudos for coming to a, an event like this. There was no promise in the invitation that I was going to teach you a new magic trade setup guaranteed to make you rich, rich, rich. There was no promise to teach you the mechanics of day trading and teach you things about order entry and and about order ma uh, trade management and about trade you know there was no promise of me showing you bunches of charts and all of that the only promise i have is to teach you how to think differently okay how to think differently about how you're approaching your business and so many people don't believe that your mindset is what's going to make you successful at day trading okay most people think it's about the mechanics you know just knowing when to push the button all right so kudos to you guys for coming to an event like this where you where you not promised to be taught something about the mechanics of trading this is more the mental, emotional, psychological side of trading, which as a, somebody who's been a professional trader for as many years as I have, I understand that that is the hardest part of trading. The mental, the psychological, the emotional, all of that is the harder part of, say, of, uh, of trading. So this is a two-part event. Uh, we're going to cover the first part today and then part two will be tomorrow okay same time tomorrow you don't have to register for it you already have the registration you have the link you're going to come to the same place so we're going to do part two right here tomorrow i will send the recording out tonight uh yes it is being recorded and it will go out tonight <clears throat> so a lot of us got into day trading <laughs> that I, I think of like President Kennedy uh, about going to the moon, you know, we choose to day trade, not because it's easy, but because we thought it would be easy. I mean, how many of you got into day trading because you thought it was going to be an easier way to make a living than what you've been doing? I know absolutely that was my story. And I've met a lot of traders. And I know that it's their story as well. It seems so easy. And we find out somewhere along the way that it's not as easy as we thought it was going to be. Well, let me show you something real quick here. And I want you to take a quick note of this. This is our last three years, uh, uh, 2020, 21, and 22 results in our trade room that are collected and audited by uh, a guy in our room that is professionally, he's a budget analyst, so he's all about numbers. He's all about collecting numbers and analyzing numbers and all of that stuff. So he has been collecting this on his own and he kind of surprised me with it. I didn't even know he was doing it the first year. But let's just say if you're starting a business, you might consider buying a franchise most franchise owners choose that route because they've had you know the franchises typically have a proven uh, track record based on like the processes and procedures and uh, generally a higher quality product so as we're going through the presentation think of our pro trader program as a franchise business where you just need to repeat what others have already successfully done. We have already have a large group of people over the last 14 years that have been involved in the Pro Trader program. It used to be called VIP, and then it was called, called Einstein, and now it's called Pro Trader. It's all the same thing, just different names. So this, these are, you know, if you were going to buy a franchise, you would want to see some proof. You would want to see some numbers that the franchise is worth doing. And so here you go. Take a screenshot or just watch it back on video and you can analyze these all these numbers later. Um, also, if you notice up here at the top, uh, these all these numbers are on uh, our website. 
just go to our main website and then go to slash results. It's not posted on a link. You have to type in results, okay? And if you need that, just uh, send us a support request and we'll send you the links that you need. And if you're watching this on video, it'll be down in the description. All right, so my history as a trader. I started out just like most of you, okay? I started out and I was convinced I was the worst trader ever. I, I just couldn't seem to do anything right. And I struggled for seven years and all I ever thought about was money 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 everything was about money uh, every trade every tick every decision I made was about money 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 and it seemed like I just kept losing money and I could not figure out why so I got really demoralized and beaten down over those seven years and every now and then you know, I'd have a few good days or a few good weeks, and I'd start thinking, hey, I'm getting some traction. I'm starting to get good at this. But eventually, all that would be gone, and I'd lose more, and I'd have to quit for a while and then refund my trading account and start again and just kept doing the same things over and over and over again. And so I, I just felt really beaten down. And again... It was about money. I just kept thinking, why do I keep losing this money? I need money. I want to quit my job. At the time, I was a contractor, and I, I had a uh, my own business, and I had a couple of hot tub stores, and they were doing fine, but they were just a lot of work, and I felt like, you know, trading looks a heck of a lot easier. I don't have to deal with all of the employees and customers and subcontractors and suppliers and tax people and uh, you know all the stuff that comes with running a business um, I thought well this is just going to be a lot easier and it turns out it was it never got easy I just kept losing money so I was ready to quit you know I, I had run myself out of money I don't know how many times I think three or four times and I, my total investment, and okay, this time, if I lose all this, I'm done. And then I'd lose it all, and two or three months later, I'd be back at it again. So I was ready to quit. But just before I did, I had a, a period of introspection. And, and this remember, this is after seven years, and I was really beaten up. And I, I had asked myself a question. And then I, I found a, a very simple answer to that question. And that simple answer, when I applied it, started changing things. I didn't know it at the time. To me, it was like an experiment. You know, I've got this simple answer. Maybe if I change something, I could begin to turn things around. So the question was, why is it I can be so successful at running my businesses? You know, my, I had uh, a couple of construction business. One was Dex, and then I had a, a fencing business, then I, had a, I also had a remodeling business, and I had a, a, a business doing um, uh, custom homes. So I had several construction businesses. And a couple of hot tub stores. All of them were doing really well. But you can imagine I was I was really working hard a lot. And I had to deal with a lot to have all of that going on. So I asked myself that question. And the answer came back to me like getting hit in the head with a brick. I wasn't approaching trading the same way that I approached my businesses. Well, I hadn't thought of that. It was just one of those things that just came to me. I had this aha. This aha that said if I, you know, if I trade as if my trading business is the 
only thing that I have to generate income for my family. That's it. That's all I have. And it must not fail. That was a big aha for me. If I approached it that way, you know, and some people have a hard time with that because they have a hard time thinking outside the box. And I allowed myself to think outside the box to gain a different perspective. Okay? So, again, kudos to you guys for being here to want to hear what it's like to be outside the box. And to know that you can step outside the box too. And that might be the aha you're looking for. All right? So why wouldn't you want to start your own trading business? Well, I'm going to bet most of you are going to say, because I don't know how to trade yet. And why in the world would you start a business where you don't even know how to do whatever that business is okay so i'll tell you a quick story so i told you one of my businesses was uh, deck and and uh porches and so i was in that was my first construction business so i had this deck business and i'm working by myself when i first started and i'm in a backyard and i'm building a deck and I look around and I see a fence around the back of the yard. And I go, well, it's made out of wood. And I have all the tools here that can make a wood fence. So why don't I go in the wood fence business? So I went home and my wife had a, uh, a mail back in the day. I guess they still have these things where you get coupons in the mail. They were big back then. We did them, uh, little coupon books. And she had a business, and I said, hey, run me a coupon for fence building business. I've never built a fence in my life, not once, not ever. But I knew I could figure it out. I knew that I could make it work. So before I had ever built a fence in my life successfully, I was in the fence building business. As it turns out, after a few years, I was the biggest fence builder in the area, and I ended up selling that business off to one of my employees, uh, who has made it even 10 times bigger than it was when I sold it to him. Um, but don't let the fact that you're trying to learn something stop you from doing it as a business. It's kind of the other way around. If you do it as a business, you're going to figure it out. Okay? So we need to rethink that. And I, for seven years, I kept thinking, well, I hope someday I can do this trading thing as a business because I want to get out of all this other stuff I'm, I'm doing. Okay? That's backwards. And if you flop that around, you're going to start getting some traction. Okay? Now, some of you are just going to sit here and you're going to hear me. You're going to listen. You're going to roll your eyes and you go, this is crap. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep trying to learn how to day trade. Eventually, I'm going to get it. If it's not real, I can't fool myself. I'm, it, it has to be real. I don't need to do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Some of you may go, well, you know what? I've always been an employee. I've never run a business. So not that I won't. I just never have. So it's never really come up before. Or you're too busy. No, I've got it. I got a I got a job. I got the kids. I've got I'm a coach in the evenings. I've got all these other things to do. I am just too busy to start a business. Very typical, okay? Or you've never run a business and you haven't because you realize that it's a scary, it can be a kind of a scary thing when 
there's nobody else but you to make it successful. There's nobody to fall back on. Uh, And there's nothing wrong with not being a business owner or being too scared to run a business. If you're not willing to be accountable for the success of that business, okay? But more than likely, again, it goes back to number one. You don't know how to trade yet, so it never occurred to you to actually start trading as a business. So, like, well, why would I do that? So here's why. Here's five reasons you need to start your own trading business. Number one, nobody is more dedicated to succeeding than a small business owner. Any any small business owners out there? You will do the thing. You know, a lot of us small business owners that we have employees and our employees think that we're rich. Oh, they own the business and they they call the shots and they if we got paid by the hour, small business owners are typically the lowest the lowest paid people in the company. Because we're dedicated to the success of that business. And we will work ourselves to death to make sure that business succeeds. Okay? Now, the focus when you're running a business shifts to the business and the health of the business and not to a paycheck. Okay? Most of us are going to work, working for the man or some corporation or whatever for that paycheck so we can go home, pay the bills, not bear the responsibility of the business, but do our part to help the business. But when you're the small business owner, you're the business. And your focus is on everything to keep that business healthy. So money is a result of having a successful business. It's not what you think about while you're trying to build or run a successful business. It's a result of the business. So when you run a business, you learn how to divide labor up amongst a group of people. Now, if you're running a, a trading business, you're it. But there is a way to divide up the labor. And there are certain things you do at certain times of the day that for that particular division of labor. You're, you, get, you need to get really good at planning and record keeping when you run your own business. All right. And just like many of you know that, that day trading is all about planning and record keeping. So here's the here's the big one. If you don't have certain qualities, you will earn some special qualities by running your own small business. What are those qualities? You'll feel a devotion like you've never felt to anything before. That's your baby. That's your dream. You're going to work like crazy to make sure that baby is healthy and happy. All right. You're going to learn that in order for that to happen, that you're going to sacrifice some things in order to make sure that business is healthy. And you're going to become dedicated like you've never been dedicated before. And determine. Now, remember, this is you can and you can really relate all of this to like having a family, right? You're going to earn these qualities with uh, having a family. Well, it becomes even more important when you have to earn these qualities to help this family that you have now. Okay, 
So you're going to be, become determined. You're going to become driven. You're going to develop new levels of patience because you have to deal with so many different things. You're going to develop a new level of accountability that you never thought that you needed before. And you're going to start learning how to deal with obstacles and you're going to become a planner. Okay, so these are things that you don't, that you're not just going to get the day that you decide to start a business. These are things that over time, if you work at that business, these special qualities are going to be earned. How many of you have ever sat around and go, man, you know, I wish I had my own business. I know I, I did before I started my businesses because it was hard to imagine what was involved. You know, you just see business owners and, and, and they're, they're their own boss and nobody telling them what to do. So why would you want that for that very reason? Why would someone want to start a business? Well, the very first reason is <laughs> you don't have to work for the man anymore. You know, he's taking credit for your good ideas and coming down on you for anything. You know, so you no longer have to work for the man. You've got the freedom of calling the shots, of being the boss. You have the, the challenge and job satisfaction of doing something and then feeling really good about it, right? The, the job satisfaction or the pursuit of a passion. If day trading is a passion or if uh, collecting dolls is a passion or if, you know, building decks is a passion or whatever. If you have a passion for something that you find really interesting and you want to make that passion something you can do every day, all day long, start a business. Okay. Now, a lot of us realize that if we start a business, if we do well, and and that business appeals to other people we really do have an unlimited income potential if we work really hard at that business and other people see that we're working hard and and they want what you're doing so unlimited income potential is a big motivator for people that want to start their own business so let's look at Let's look at the difference between starting a typical business versus a trading business, okay? So let's say you want to earn $150,000, $200,000 a year running your own business. Maybe you want to earn more, but when you first get started, let's say, you know, this right around in that ballpark, that's what you want to pay yourself after everything else. You want to be able to generate that much income okay so I took some numbers many years ago and I adjusted them for 2023 and the numbers that I um, took was for opening one of my hot tub stores so I just went down the list of the basic things and now if you look at this list you may notice that these are probably very low. Um, I mean, I'm I'm being very conservative on these numbers for these startup costs for starting a typical bricks and mortar type business. Okay, so I'm not going to go down the list. You can look at the list, but we're looking at over a hundred thousand dollars in initial startup. And again. It could be double that easily, depending on what kind of business you're you're considering opening and where you're considering opening it. Definitely, if you're here in Southern California, it's going to be double that. Then you have monthly expenses. Okay. So you can, again, go down the list, look at the numbers. $45,000 or so a month. Typical. Typical. So you start in a new business and let's say that, you know, for the first six months, there's generally not 
a lot of profit. Okay, first six months, you're just trying to gain some traction, get your employees trained, get your advertising going. There's not a lot of business is going to be happening over the first six months. So we're looking at startup costs of over $370,000. And that's on the low end, probably closer to half a million. And still not paying yourself a salary. That's, there's no owner salary in there. Okay, and if you look at the statistics, starting a business, you probably don't make any money for the first couple of years at least. Okay, this, this can be a pretty scary and daunting set of numbers for somebody who just wants to create a business to make a modest income. It's, it's kind of, it's scary, right? So then you go back to, well, I think I'll keep my job because I, I don't have half a million dollars to invest to starting something where I might earn $150,000, $200,000 a year. So let's look at typical trading business costs, okay? So we've got our pro trader program, and I've got an asterisk there because we've got a, it, it's 58.56 on our website, but we're gonna. I'm offering you guys a special offer here, so a 20% discount. So we'll go with 46.85. And you probably already have a computer, but let's say you're gonna buy another computer for your trading business. You probably already have an extra monitor, but let's say you're gonna buy another monitor. You could start at an account with less than $2,000 now because of the micro futures. But let's say you started with 2000 and you don't even need to pay for NinjaTrader initially because you're going to be practicing and, and working at your at your trading um, and learning. So you, if you, as long as you're not actually placing trades, you can use the free version of NinjaTrader. But eventually you'll have to buy it. So let's just say the grand total startup. Is around ten grand, okay, or or nine if you if you uh, uh, want to go with our pro trader uh, uh, program. Um, so you're you're starting for about two and a half percent of what the startup costs were for a traditional business. Okay, so it it makes it a it makes a lot more sense, and this is still to make the one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, nothing's guaranteed, right? Just like with a regular business, nothing's guaranteed. But we're looking at a lot easier barrier to, barrier to entry, a lot less, and a lot less commitment in the event that it doesn't work out. What if the other business doesn't work out? Well, you've just lost potentially half a million dollars in the first six months or more, probably more. Or you try a day trading business, okay? It's still a business, okay? To potentially earn the same amount of money. So here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to do this today, okay? I want you to start today a day trading business. And the best way to start a day trading business and to make it tangible is to create a business name. This is, this is fun, right? This part of it is fun. And and the big and the business now becomes something real. It's no longer something that maybe someday I'm going to start a trading business once I learn how to trade. No, you're not doing that. You're going to start it right now. And by the end of the day today, you can come up with a trading name for your business. Not something to do later. 
do it now. Make it tangible. And, this, and then we have some options. Go online. Find a logo you could use and attach it to that name. Create a logo. Create a name. Put it on a piece of paper. Put it or or on a on a uh, an image that you can put up on your computer screen. Now you have something to associate yourself with that business. That business is now a business. Okay. Next thing, and you can do this tomorrow. Go open another bank account, not your personal bank account. Of course, to to be considered a you know a a trader a, 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 a amateur trader, you're going to go open up another personal account, but you're going to give it a name that is your business trading account name. Okay, and don't take it from me on how to do this. Ask your accountant or ask a lawyer or whatever, because all states have different laws and different rules for doing this. But you're going to need a bank account. That bank account is going to fund your trading account. Okay? There's a lot more to this than just this bank, just that. Okay? But you're going to go to a bank, or you can do it online, and open another account that is just for your trading. No longer will you be uh, transferring money into your trading account from your personal account. Okay? All right, and then optional if you need to get a business license, a corporate entity. Again, talk to a lawyer or uh, an accountant for your state about how to do that. Now, here's why you've done this, and this is big. Don't don't diminish this. Don't be that guy that says, "Well, I don't need to do that because you know I'm too important, or I know way more than this guy." and uh, uh, I just need to keep working at my trading. Okay, don't be that guy. When someone asks you, maybe you just met them at the, you know, the kids' baseball game or whatever, and they go, hey, what do you do? Your answer is now, I have a day trading business. That's how you identify yourself. Nobody's going to ask you. Are you successful at day trading? Do you know how to day trade? Are you making a lot of money day trading? Nobody's going to ask you that. From today forward, you're that day trading guy. When they see you in the future. You have now created an identity for yourself. And if you don't think that's going to help you run your day trading business, then you should probably go find something else to do because this, this is what got me going. This is what changed directions for me. All right. So tomorrow we're going to talk about, well, I'm going to ask you a question. Would I be forced to fire you? If you came to work for me as my lead trader of my business, would I be forced to fire you? We're going to talk about setting up your business and how to be a business, not just pretend to be a business, but be a business. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to talk about how to make your business accountable to you and your family. See, this is stuff that nobody ever taught me. Once I became accountable, once the business became accountable, I started running the business differently. I started looking at trading differently because my trading was now accountable to my family. Totally different mindset. So have you ever sat around and gone, okay, at some point, I'm hoping I'm going to get some traction in this trading and I'll be able to quit my job and trade full time. Have you ever thought that? Anybody ever thought that? 
Have you ever actually thought about what that looks like? What what that what day that happens? That day that you're willing to give up all the security of a full time job and the insurances and everything else, and you say goodbye full time job. I'm going to day trade for a living. I bet you haven't gotten that far in the thinking process. Your process, your thinking is, well, I want to learn how to do it first, and if things go well, maybe someday I can do it for an income. So we're going to talk about the transition plan that'll actually get you there. There is a, you don't, it's not an on-off switch. It's a transition. And you can transition. I've done, we've done, I've had a lot of people say, man, without that transition plan, I never would have done it. You can transition from being a part-time trader, trying to figure it out to being a full-time trader and leaving your uh, profession. And it's a process. And that, you know, you know, when you decide to quit your job, is when it's costing you more money to go to work, you'd be making it day trading. So there is a process, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. We're also going to talk about a very simple trading system to help you start your business. And then we'll do some Q&A. So this very simple trading system is what we do every day in our trade room. We, we sit there and we wait for these setups to show up and either they're there or they're not and when they're there we call it waiting on the bus because it's about it's we have very basic setups we have yes no setups either yes it qualifies or no it doesn't so it's very basic very straightforward and the kind of thing that you can just do over and over and over again we've been doing this for 14 years so go back go to our youtube channel we've got over 450 videos I, and i didn't even know that i just counted them last night go to our playlist you'll see these playlists you can go to the trade of the day videos and start watching those and by the time you've gotten to like your 10 they're only like two or three minutes Okay, they're, they're really short. By the time you've gotten to like your 10th one, you're going to start to notice it's the same thing over and over and over again. And you can go back years. We have 180 videos there, but that's several years of those videos where we're doing the same thing and have been doing the same thing. So you don't need to keep learning, keep learning more and more and more and more stuff. No, just learn our system and just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. I, I'm reminded of that guy. Remember that old Dunkin' Donuts commercial where the guy gets up and goes, oh, I got to make the donuts. Oh, I got to wake up, go make the donut. Same thing every day. Just, just the same thing every day. We're not going to throw a whole bunch of new stuff at you every day where you're like, oh, well, he's got this new indicator and he's got this new trade set up and I, he's got this very secret uh, whole system that he's been keeping secret all these years, but now he's releasing it to the public. We don't do any of that. We do the same thing we were doing 14 years ago and we just keep doing it over and over and over again. All right, so go to our YouTube channel and you'll see a ton of videos to teach you about our trading system. That's not what this event is for. This event is for getting your head around the idea that if you change the way you're thinking about trading, you'll start to gain some traction. Okay, you'll start to suddenly see trading in a totally different light okay all right for those of you that have been uh i have several people who have been waiting for a special offer so here's the special offer we've got a, a 20 percent discount on all of our programs you can go to our uh website and then you'll see a drop down for um products and you can go through that whole thing 
enter TLB20 at the checkout and you're going to get um, a 20% uh, discount on any of our programs. Now, the Pro Trader program is the one with everything in it. Okay, lots of videos like of information like we did today. Okay, stuff that we covered today. Um, lots of other uh, tools to teach you how to trade, uh, uh, practice your trading. So for those of you that have full-time jobs during the day, but you want to practice, we teach you how to practice just like it's live. In fact, you can listen to us live in the trade room and practice it in the evening and run the trade room live just like you're there in real time. Okay, and practice right along with us. We teach you how to do that and we give you tools to help you do that with. Okay, that's all part of the program. 